Good morning. It's been a busy morning here in the Color Time Weather Lab already, and it's only 5 a.m. We had a severe thunderstorm watch overnight. It has been cleared for the entire area as that line of strong showers and storms has moved east. Now, uh, even though the threat has been cleared for now, we still have got chances to see showers, storms become strong to severe this afternoon as we get some more rounds of storms. So for now, we're in the clear, but again, expect uh, some more action as we head through the day today. Storm reports from this round overnight. Some hail reported up around Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, one of the bigger reports was Webb City in uh, Jasper County, just north of Joplin. There, a telephone pole and power lines had fell from uh, some strong winds, and uh, they fell on top of cars that were damaged. So uh, that has been the most significant report that we've gotten, but the National Weather Service is looking for more. So if you've got some reports uh, outside your door, please uh, send them in. Uh, we had some flash flooding concerns up around uh, Nevada and Stockton, some very heavy rain, two to three inches of rain fell pretty quickly, and uh, that aerial flood advisory goes until 945 this morning. Concern for those creeks and streams that could be swollen from that rain that fell pretty quickly, uh, so you want to keep that in mind. There could be some ponding. Now, behind that line of showers and storms, we've got a high wind warning, a south wind really picking up behind that line in Springfield, Taney County, right, Webster, um, and uh, we've already gotten reports of 52 mile per hour gusts at the Springfield Airport. Again, we could be pretty gusty through the morning hours. Be careful driving on the highway. One round is out. We've got that line of showers and storms. No warnings right now. Just some locally heavy downpours and lots of lightning and not so much going on in the Springfield Metro, but we've got that batch down in Oklahoma that we're keeping an eye out on. Look at all of that lightning around Tulsa and look at all the lightning around here too. Even if we don't have severe thunderstorm warnings, these are hazardous storms because there's heavy rain and lightning, so you want to be careful with that. We're clear out of the watch. The watch is two hour east now, but again, we're watching uh, these storms fire up in Oklahoma, expecting them to come into the area by this morning and midday. Another round of some storms possible with some uh, strong storms possible there, too. Here's the severe risk for today. Enhanced risk up to uh, the north in northwest Missouri. Uh, we've got a slight risk for the Ozarks. So again, we're keeping this risk for some strong to severe storms as we head through the afternoon because we could get a couple of more rounds in there. We'll have one round come through in the morning and midday. Those storms that are firing up in Oklahoma now uh, could linger into the afternoon hours. And then there's some question marks here. We could have some further development that could spawn some more strong storms by the late afternoon and evening. Any strong storms, the main threats really going to be damaging winds. Could have some large hail, could have some localized flooding. There is a tornado threat as we've seen overnight already. It is on the lower side of all of these, but again, we're keeping an eye out on that. Uh, what to expect? We've got that high wind warning for the next hour with some gusty winds expected. A stormy morning commute possible. We could fire up some more storms in the afternoon. All modes of severe weather possible, including heavy rain, and uh, will finally clear by Friday morning. Hour by hour, you can see that second round comes in through about 9, 10, 11 o'clock this morning into uh, the Ozarks. We'll keep that round coming through uh, through the afternoon hours possible. And then we'll probably have a little bit of a lull, and then the dry line is going to want to fire up over here by this evening. But the atmosphere might be so overworked from the overnight and morning, it might not have a lot left in it to create these uh, storms and push them to be strong to severe. So, again, we've got to watch. It might be a little bit touch and go this afternoon, but we'll clear out by tomorrow morning. 79 degrees today, rounds of showers and storms with a gusty wind, 63 overnight. Those storms will end by tomorrow, 74. Clouds will linger. We'll be done with the rain and the storms. Again, we just have lingering clouds this weekend. Real nice, mostly sunny on Saturday with a high of 78.